Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Silicon Crash Course. In today's video, I will show you guys how to set up the database for our backend system using DynamoDB. Let's have a quick recap what we have from the previous video. We have a backend system with one endpoint, the Get Health, and we managed to add the authentication to our system. So in order to consume this API, first we have to log in to grab the token like this. After that, we start consuming our API. So for those of you who haven't watched the previous video, I strongly recommend you guys to do so. But if you guys don't have time for that, I still leave the link to the previous video code in the description. So check it out. That will be the starting point of this video. So without further ado, let's jump to VS Code and start implementing our change. So I have finished implementing the change to our CDK stack. First, I create a new class called Dynamo. This is extends from the table class, which is a Dynamo table. I named this table to do underscore DB, and there's a partition key and a sort key. The partition key I name it type. The reason I chose this is because later on we have a request to get all the to do in our database, so I can just make the query via this partition key. For the sort key, I use ID. So if we want to target any specific to do, we can make the query with the combinations of the partition key and the sort key. 
the example is quite simple enough. So I will not add any index, whether it's local or global in here. In the Lambda class, I add this line to add to row policy with four policies, query, delete, put item, and update item for the Dynamo. What it does is CDK will create IAM policy row for us and assign it to our Lambda. Finally, in our main stack, I initialize our database here. I create four new lambdas, which is create, get, update, and delete. And I assign our lambda to our API right here. Currently, our lambda does nothing but just return some string in the body. Now, I will use a CDK deploy to update this change to our CloudFormation stack. This process will take some time, so I will fast forward the video. So the CDK deploy command has finished. Now let's log into AWS console to see the result. After I log into the AWS console, I go to the DynamoDB. You guys click on the tables tab right here. You can see a newly created table named to do underscore DB. If we click on that, you can see that it has a partition key as type and the sort key as the ID. And they both have the type of string which is what we wrote in the CDK code. Currently in our table, there's no document. Now let's go, go to the Lambda tab. You can see that there are some new Lambda that created for us by CDK, such as to do, create, get to do, update to do. If we go to any of them, let's say we go to the create to do Lambda and, and we look at the code. You can see that the code we wrote in our CDK stack will be shown here. Create to do Lambda executed and the body and the status code exactly as we wrote in our VS code. So that are all the chains that I will have in this video for the CDK. Thank you guys for watching and I see you guys in the next video.